Today we'll look at how to refine an imported tetrahedral mesh. We'll begin by importing the mesh into SimCenter 3D and we'll go into the FEM where our mesh resides and we'll begin by splitting off the elements that we'd like to refine. So here we'll do that using the extract command and I'll box select the elements that I'd like to refine and we'll hide the rest of the mesh. Next we'll create some geometry from the mesh using the face from mesh command. We'll first select the mesh and we'll select element face feature angle and element edge feature angles that will give us edges not over the entire model but just at the sharp corners. So here we can see that if we delete the 2D mesh that was created which we don't need and hide the 3D mesh here you can see the edges in black and the free edges in magenta. So we want to complete the geometry creation on the top here by selecting the element faces. And I've got too many here, so I'll use the feature angle elements using the shift key to select or to deselect those element faces that I do not want to include. I just want to get the ones on the top here. And I also don't want any interior edges, so I'm going to select a much larger size there for my element face feature angle and I'm going to create a new face from those element faces. So here you can see the mesh which we do want to keep this time because we want to make sure we maintain the element size at that interface with the rest of the mesh. And to ensure that we get a congruent mesh we'll go ahead and stitch those two bodies together. And now to control the transition between our finer mesh and our original tetrahedral mesh, I'm going to divide the face or faces of the geometry that we just created. So that first one's pretty easy, but the next face sort of wraps around the rest of the geometry and we can do that by selecting the facet edges. So I'll try to create as straight a line as possible going across the geometry here and sort of splitting the difference between my features that I want to refine such as around the hole there and the mesh density that I need to maintain to transition back into my existing tetrahedral mesh. So let's make sure we connect that back to the other division. That looks good. Now we're going to use two shell meshing methods. First is going to be tet mesh, uh, I'm sorry, 2D mesh from facets. This will allow us to get a good looking mesh on the bottom part of the faces and we'll select a mesh size that's about half of what the original uh, element size was. And then for the remaining faces we'll create just a standard 2D mesh using the paver meshing method and the same element size. And that will transition between the fine mesh and the coarse mesh. Alright, so the last step is to make sure our nodes are merged. So let's look for duplicate nodes. And go ahead and merge them. and now we can create a solid mesh from all of these shell elements. I'll create a C-Tetra 10 and here you can see if we turn off the 2D collectors and our geometry you can see the new mesh that we've got 
and that also is already merged into the other tetrahedral mesh. And we can verify that checking for duplicate nodes. And you can see there are none in the status line.